photography it's a picture of course it's a, in itself it's timeless you can tell so many stories in just in a one one frame Model turned photographer and filmmaker Elma Liarchik has a story that's as interesting and unconventional as the art she creates. When the Belarusian beauty realized her modeling career wasn't taking off, she took matters into her own hands, picked up a camera, and started shooting herself in a series of semi illegal guerrilla style self portraits using the dressing rooms of high end boutiques as a backdrop. Elle was caught a number of times and even arrested on one occasion. How are you doing? Are you okay? Yes, yes, thank you. It takes guts to do that sort of kamikaze dressing room photography, you know. It's not that easy taking a $10,000 frock into a dressing room and pretending to try it on. Meanwhile, creating these elaborate tableau and uh, getting away with it and making beautiful art in the process. Elle's dressing room photos captured the attention of many, including the New York Times and British designer Bella Freud. I loved the beauty of these pictures. They really sort of struck me. And I saw she was young, and so I thought, you know, I'll get in there quickly before she becomes a megastar, which I'm sure she will. Bella contacted Elle about a photography project featuring her latest collection, and together they agreed on a style where Elle would take photos of herself in risky locations at night, often alone. She was even attacked and robbed on her very first shoot for this project. I'm a person that I need more emotion, more adrenaline, so I need something even more dangerous. So in between skydiving, my, my hobby, uh, I, I go and take pictures in dangerous places. What I love about Elle, both in life and as an artist, is that she's fearless, and it's really clear in her work. Opportunity has been knocking on Elle's door ever since, to the point where she's often working on several projects simultaneously and completely changing her lifestyle according to each. Not long ago, Elle became a nun for one of her projects, but instead of shooting herself, the models she chose were sculptures of saints that she dressed in high fashion pieces. I decided to ask different designers to uh, create, create unique pieces for each of the statue to explain the story of the statue. And most importantly, I wanted to make the saints come alive. not your average photographer, right? No, not at all. In many ways. I've been thinking about you've been something unreal. For Elle's next project called Psychics, she was finally working with a real model other than herself. Elle dressed her model in a variety of looks to see if fashion could affect a person's fortune. As a new person, she went to 12 different psychics in New York City, and they read her hand, they read crystal balls, and they thought that she was someone else. This time, Elle not only took photos that landed in the Dossier Journal, but she also directed and produced a fashion film for the New York Times Tea Magazine. Twenty-six-year-old Elle has come a long way since the days of photographing herself in changing rooms. Now a regular contributor to the New York Times and one of today's top fashion photographers, she's no longer a one-woman team, but directing large crews of people in order to bring her creative vision to life. Now I feel like I'm, I'm actually, I can work with different subjects. It's not just me taking pictures of myself. Recently, we met up with the ever-busy Elle at Atlantic Beach, New York, where she was working on yet another project, coordinating, styling, and directing a short film in collaboration with designer Philip Lim. Usually I work maybe one or two people, you know, it's a very, very small team, but today it may be, uh, may be close to 30 people, who knows? behind you Ollie, and make sure the people don't don't walk across the beach I think I enjoy doing video more than photography because it's actually more flexible it's like little ingredients that you put together later it's like it's a real experience
success, I guess, is like, it's about how you feel about yourself. And now I'm so busy, there's no re retrospect in my life. So I don't know yet. I'm still waiting on, for my vacation. That's really awesome. <laughs> <laughs>